This to it lesson activity is in foreign language and focuses on recording student voices. I'm going to be showing you the Berlitz learning system, which allows you to record student voices, compare them to native speakers, and also has a variety of other learning activities in it. I'm then going to show you how to record student video using Smart Video Recorder and Smart Video Player. So let's see how these work. I'm going to open up the Berlitz learning system, which I already have open, by clicking on the task tray. And many programs from different publishers allow you to do the same types of things when you are working in um, learning different languages. In this one, um, there's a section for pronunciation, and we're going to move into the words and also the sentences. And this allows you to record student voices. So I'm going to choose the words section over here. You can choose the number of rounds, um, and I'm going to start from the current segment, which is segment number one, but you can also choose any particular level or area that you're working in within the system from beginner to advanced. I'm going to click Start. España. So what we have here is the word to pronounce, España, and I can click it again España. to have it pronounced again. We have the word meaning and in a segment and what the segment also means in English. Now I'm going to record my voice. There's a button over here, and I'm just going to um, record it. In order to record it, I do need to use a microphone. Now I have a regular microphone that's here that is plugged into the microphone spot on the computer. I also have a laptop here. Now the laptop can either be a um, regular laptop or a desktop, Windows or Mac. Um, many of the laptops have a built-in microphone, but when you're using a system like this to record student voices, unless the students come down to the computer, then their microphone will not pick it up very well, which is why a wired microphone is a good solution. In addition to that, you can also get wireless microphones that do not have any um, wires on them. They use a, either RF or um, a Bluetooth technology in order to have a wireless signal, so you can move that around the room. So, um, I'm going to use this microphone and I'm going to click on record your voice. So I'm just going to click right here and say España. And I get an instant result as to how well I'm saying it. So I'm going to try that one more time. España. And this time it got even better. But I'm not sure exactly what it was that I did better. So down here, it gives some very specific things. So I'm going to choose your voice, España. and it records exactly what I said. I'm going to compare that to a native speaker by clicking on the one on the bottom. España. I can also look at the pitch. So just by clicking on the pitch, and then to the native speaker. So I can compare what that sounds like. The button in the middle does the native speaker, my voice, and the native speaker. And that looks at the fricatives. And in the vowels, I can just click that. And then the native speaker. So when I'm done with that, I can click continue. Sueños. And we're on to the next word. And I can tell that it means dreams. Now if I want to slow that down a little bit, I'm going to click on the turtle. And I'm going to click the play button. Sueños. So we can really hear what that sounds like. Clicking on the turtle again turns that feature off. Sueños. And then I'm able to do that. So this is good to learn certain words. I'm going to click done down on the bottom right here. And now we're going to do a sentence. So I'm going to choose sentences. And again, I'm going to choose the first segment up here. Again, you can choose whatever section you want to, to go to that specific level or a range of levels. So I'll click start. Madrid. España de mis sueños. So I'm going to pick up my uh, recorder uh, microphone here and click the record your voice. Madrid, España de mis sueños. And do you notice what happened? Even though I was continuing to speak, it stopped recording. I'm going to click on record your voice or your voice down here. Madrid, España. And it did not record the whole thing. Now, this happens in using a whiteboard. When you hold down on a button, it will only record for about three seconds. A way to go around that is if you have an airliner, 
And what I'm going to do is choose the airliner up here, and I'm going to go to record your voice, and I'm going to click it, and I'm going to hold it down for about three seconds. I'm continuing to hold it, and then it stops. I'll do that again just to show you. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and I'm still holding the pen down, although it stops recording. But the airliner also comes with this mouse. And it's not a real mouse, but it does have the same um, part of it that they're able to interact with each other. I can hold this down as long as I want to. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. As long as I want, it's going to continue to record. When I let go of this, then it will stop recording. Now, obviously, this is not what I want to record on this. And if you don't have an airliner, there's also another way. You can use a regular mouse on your computer, or in this case, I have my laptop here. So what I'm going to do is use my laptop over here, and I'm going to press down on the button to record what I need to say. And I'm going to hold my microphone up this time, and we'll actually do the recording. Madrid, España de mis sueños. And this time, although my recording didn't get all that better, it did record everything. Madrid, España de mis sueños. And then we can compare that to the native speaker. Madrid, España de mis sueños. So again, you can look at all the same things that we did before. So now that that's one way that you can record student voices, let's actually record some video of the students. The way I'm going to do that is go down to my taskbar that's down here. I'm going to choose uh, the um, smart section, and I'm going to choose the video player, which will bring up the smart video player. Now, you can either use a regular USB camera as the input device, or since this is a laptop with an integrated webcam in it, that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to choose the hardware and select the USB video device. And then second thing I'm going to do is choose the view and change that from 100 to 200%, which gives me a nice large area. So now we have an area that um, we can actually record. And everything that I'm doing right now as I'm focusing on the webcam is seen um, on the board. However, I want to record what I'm saying now. So what I need to do is open up the recorder. So I'm going to, again, choose the toolbar, and I'm going to go to the Smart Recorder which will bring up my floating toolbar. So I'm going to bring the floating toolbar down here so I can easily access it. And I'm going to select the drop-down, and, and I'm going to click Record Window. Now, before I click that, I just want to give you a, a couple of suggestions. When you record it, you should use a microphone because you want to be able to hear quite clearly. Once you click the window, it's going to start recording. So you want to be ready to record immediately. And when you're done recording, you're going to click the stop that's going to be down here in the Smart Recorder. So have your students prepare, or yourself, and then make sure that you're looking directly at the camera. So I'm going to click on the window. Madrid, España de mis sueños. Madrid, Spain of my dreams. And I'll press stop. Now I want to save this to my desktop, and I keep it as the same name, which is the date. I'll click Save, and then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to minimize the player, and I'm going to open up the video that I just created. And it's going to open up in Windows Media Player. Madrid, España de mis sueños. Madrid, Spain of my dreams. So you can create lots of different clips of the students as they're speaking. So that's a way that you can record student voices and also record video of the students. Now it's time for you to get to it.